beautiful clock for a girl. Uh, now she gets her name Rose because it's a uh, reanimate uh, operation. Uh, oh, I forgot to There we go. Okay. Now, her original intent was uh, we wanted to send her out whenever there was some sort of dangerous situation the rest of us didn't want to go into. Unfortunately, as I was building her, uh, I got a little upset, and, well, this is what we ended up with. Something that uh, might be what we originally intended was actually practical, because I'm not about to let such a beautiful creation and a beautiful breath go into a dangerous situation and get eaten by monsters. Anyway, she's going to get behind the dress. <laughs> As you can see, Rose has a fully uh, clockwork heart. Uh, it's powered by a small steam generator in the back that I can uh, accept with my own backpack. Make adjustments to charge or recharge her. And the best part is she's got a very nice on-off switch. And I know there's a few of you guys out there that wouldn't like it. Wouldn't mind if you had a girl you could turn on like this. <laughs> now Rose will perform a variety of functions. She will still go into a dangerous situation, of course. Uh, what was that? Yeah, yeah. Well, Lily will go with her, so it won't be that dangerous. But uh, Rose, uh, I built a few more entertainment uh, uh, functions into her. Unfortunately, there's lots of music going on right now, so uh, I will have an opportunity when it quiets down to demonstrate Rose's inner clockwork mechanisms. I built a small music box into her.